I uh, I didn't check Slendis's league, but I think he's a platinum, and I heard his PVZ is quite good. So we should see some interesting stuff. Yes, yes, we should. All right, you want to give the play-by-play? -play? All right, sure. Does that include names and stuff, or? Yep, gotta get the names. All right, so we got Paveway in the top left, Diamond Zerg. Uh, against Solendis, Protoss in the bottom right, who is Platinum, and this should be quite the good game on Entombed Valley. I haven't played on Entombed Valley, but it's a four-player map, right? So they don't know exactly where each other are? Correct. Hmm. So how do you think the uh, not being close spawn is going to affect them? Well, I know that normally, uh, depending on how they spawn, like, for instance, if Paveway were to spawn in the top right instead of the top left, he'd be close air, so Muta Ling would be uh, good and bad at the same time because Proto because it's also close ground. Right. Um, which is weird because that's not how it works on a map like Shattered Temple or uh, Metalopolis, but because it's cross position uh, and we see Solendus' four trust expanding, I think what's going to happen is Paveway is going to go Muta Ling and he's going to try to expand into the top right and bottom left expansions uh, after he takes his natural, just because what you do with Muta Ling is you base race uh, when if they try to leave their base, and they'll lose because you're so f uh, far spread out. Yeah, definitely. Especially if he's got the top and bottom, if he's got the bottom left and the top right hand corners, it's going to take forever for a protest player to get over there. Yeah, what I really don't want to see Paveway do is go Roach Hydra, because there are, like, the distance is so long, and <clears throat> even though the map is quite open, you'd have to engage in the center of the map, which I really don't think the Protoss is going to let happen. Yeah, that is a really large, flat, open area in which to do some crazy combat in. You were right, a nice forge fast expand. <laughs> it is little patrolling probe. And he's trying to sneak a pylon in at the bottom left-hand corner. We'll see how well that goes. He should see it. He's got an overlord park hey, right Paveway did see it. Yeah. yeah, his overlord was right there. So, um, like I said, Solendus loves his proxy pylons. I... W Normally they're better than that though. Um, one one place that he would probably put one is uh, right next to the third, um, kind of near the fourth, which is at the top center. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> he decided to put one in Payway's base, which I, it, if it wasn't scouted, I guess it would be good. But when you're playing against a Zerg who's got his overlords around, especially considering how close it is to the natural, where a Zerg is always going to have an overlord, oh. it's it's just a a shaky decision. It would have been funny, though, to see him try and cannon rush. Yeah, the the other problem with um, cannon, cannon rushing a Zerg is if you're not blocking off a choke or something, um, it actually isn't nearly as good. Because yeah, creep sure. stops. Yeah, creep stops you from uh, moving forward too much, and if you're not blocking a choke, they could just run uh, right by you and attack your base. Yeah. So yeah, maybe if you tried to cannon rush down here, but I don't even think that would have been all that effective. Well, he what he could have done is I think he could have triple piloned the uh, bottom of the ramp and then just dropped a cannon or two at the natural and killed it. That would have been funny. <laughs> Uh, so we can see that Solendus has put up his second base. He's chrono boosting out probes like nobody's business. He's got pylons going on. But that's really about it. He's got one gateway, and he's actually got two idle probes blocking his path there. So he really needs to get a zealot or something out there to block that off as opposed to wasting that production. Yeah, he definitely should have got his, gotten a zealot a long time ago because uh, that's a lot of money that he's losing for those two probes. They could have been mining for a while. Definitely. And now he's building a robo-base, so what do you think he's going to do with that? Um, it's a really fast robo. I, I'm not sure if I agree with that either, because it's so, it's so fast, like... Yeah, he, he doesn't he have any be... units on the map. 
Yeah, he. what he might be trying to do is he might be trying to uh, get a War Prism, but the only problem with that is you can't really harass with a War Prism if you don't have any gateways, so... Exactly, he doesn't I'm even have... I'm not 100% sure. He doesn't even have Warp Gates. Well, he's got... He's researching Warp Gates, and he's researching his plus one upgrades, but he doesn't have any units on the map. Yeah, he definitely... Um, depending on what his next move is, he's either going to get... I'm assuming he's either going to get a Warp Prism, or he's going to drop a Robo Facility. Or Robo Bay, my bad. Um, right. And that would bay. mean he's going Colossus, yeah. Still, he has no units on the map. That's got to be that's got to be risky. Um, he doesn't need he doesn't need a lot of units, but he does need gateways to respond to um something like a Roachling all in from Paveway if he were to do it. Right. Um, as it is right now, one sentry and producing off of one gateway is not going to do it, and I'm pretty sure he would have lost. Uh, right about now, <laughs> where Paveway doing an all-in. Oh, for sure. Paveway, he just looks like he's droning up. He's got overseers on the way, etc. And now we can finally see some more army life out of Solindus. He's building two more gateways. He's building his Twilight Council. And he's slowly but surely killing those rocks with that sentry, but that might take him a while. It's interesting that he's opening up another entrance to his base. But that's not such a big deal. Um, normally what a Protoss could do is when they forge FE, they would drop their cannon um, closer to where the rocks are, and then they would use the cannon while they weren't being attacked to kill the rocks faster, and then they would expand the wall off to the, the um, ramp at the third and then take a fast third, but um, I'm not quite sure what Solendus is doing. He got a Twilight Council with his Robo facility, so... He's branching off in two different tech path he's, paths. He's, it looks like he's going for Blink Stalker Immortal. Just got here. Um, which, it it will end up <laughs> working, I think, because... Yeah, that's alright. Um, immortals are good against roaches, but still, Paveway's going Roach and Fester, and if those Stalkers can't blink, it's going to be a lot harder for his army yeah. to do anything. He's working on Blink, though, so that'll be nice. You know, it looks like he's gonna he's gonna grab his third, which is actually gonna put him just on par with Paveway. So both players are pretty equal right now. Paveway's got a little bit bigger of an army though, but that's gonna change once those Colossus come into play. Oh, oh he is getting Colossus too. Hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting oh. choice, and it looks like I think Paveway's gonna move out a little bit down here. He's got a bunch of roaches. And to respond to that, we've got a bunch of immortals, a couple, uh, well, actually not a whole lot of anything to respond to it, but it should be enough to hold it off. What I'd really like to see Solendus do is, ju is uh, just drop two force fields if those roaches run up the ramp, because he'll get a ton of free roaches with those three immortals right there. Mmm, roaches. Paveway is getting a lot of lings. Um, normally, if if he were to do this earlier, um, it is late though, and he is going Roach and Fester, but were he to have done this a couple minutes ago, um, he would have gotten the plus one attack for the Zerglings instead, and uh, ro the Roaches would be a tanking unit, and the Zerglings would uh, DPS even more than they normally do. Wow. And unfortunately, I think Solendus is going to lose the game because he just doesn't have unit production. Nope, uh, and he missed Force Field also. Yeah, the Colossus can do a, a huge amount of damage, but he's almost definitely going to lose his third. Yeah, the Colossus is, you know, it does a lot of damage, but it's a very weak unit. It's only got... Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. It also doesn't have uh, extended Thermal Lance yet, so it its ability to attack from far away is gone, and it just died, so... Yeah, so right now we have 73 pros and one Overseer for Solindus' army. So all, <laughs> so all Paveway needs to do is continue he, to poke, and that'll be game. He has 73 probes. Yep. Units tab, 73 probes. That's some good, that's some good uh, worker production, at least. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't say that about his gateways, but he had some really good worker production. He never stopped that, so that's, that's a step in the right direction. Do you think he overdroned? Yeah, he definitely over over pro, uh, overdroned or overprobed, but 
Um, I think I think what he could have done is he could have gotten more gateways sooner, and then stayed on one tech path as opposed to going a few separate tech paths. Right. And once he could do some sort of poke or aggression to secure his third, it would that would be a a nice smooth third. He you know keep making probes. He'd either expand his tech path or um, stay on the same one. So you want to do Addy versus Voodoo PDX? Oh yeah, definitely.